Welcome to MCOM Solutions. Jake here. My mesh radio journey began over two years ago with Mestastic. And as I'm sure many of you that are watching this video know that 2024 has been a huge year for the project. My goal here though, and mission for this channel is to present my audience, you with emergency communication solutions. And up to this point, I've had some reservations about Mestastic radios being relied on as a robust communication system in those challenging situations we might find ourselves in. I'm sure there's many people out there that are more than capable that can deploy these radios as a part of their emergency communications plan. I'm not questioning that. My reservation, it really lies within the constant state of beta that we've been in. Um, which can impose challenges for those that like to operate a little more off the grid. For example, you can't just buy a set of these radios and put them away in a bag for a rainy day. There's a good chance if you do that, when you pull them out, the firmware ver version that's on the radios versus the software version and the app version that's on your smart device may not be compatible. There are of course is some workarounds for that. We'll talk about those and we'll talk about what's next for the Meshtastic project. And I think you're gonna be excited about this one because I know I am. For workarounds, I'm gonna just put it out there one more time. This is not how I recommend operating Meshtastic radios or really any sort of emergency communications equipment or just regular communications equipment, but I'm going to give you a few options. And this could just be for that what if scenario, right? Download the latest firmware versions versions when they come out. And this can be done as you see here in the screen, go over to mestastic.org to go through there. It's going to take you over to GitHub and then you can select which firmware you want to download and have a spare backed up version on, you know, your local your laptop, wherever you're storing it. This is really easy if you're operating the NRF52 devices or um, RP240 devices, which I'm not familiar which one those are. Just saw that today, so I have to do a little research on that. You know, you can let me know more about that. But, you know, we're in a constant change uh, environment of constant change here. So that makes it easy because you can have a completely offline computer with the latest firmware version on it, plug in your NRF 52, you know, a rack whiz block or whatever, which is kind of my preferred radio right now is put it in boot mode, drag and drop updates the firmware just like that. So you could have that stored radio that you could bring it out and boom. Along with storing radios, if you're going to do that, I also recommend storing a old smart device, an old phone, whatever, in with, make sure that it has a compatible version of the Mestastic app loaded with those devices. Lastly, my, my true recommendation in this whole method here would, if you're gonna do any of this, you definitely need to have a schedule where you pull these devices out you update them, inspect them, make sure everything's good, charge batteries, do all that good stuff, upload, you know, update all the firmware, update the applications, and then put them back away if that's what you choose to do. So hopefully you've stayed along this long because now we're going to get into the exciting stuff. What is next for Mistast? So if you haven't heard, in October of 23rd, 2024, Mestastic made an announcement. They're introducing a whole kind of new entity of the Mestastic uh, ecosystem is it's called Mestastic Solutions, supporting the future of the open source Mestastic project, right? So the team is excited to announce Mestastic S Solutions. The new venture will support Mestastic open source projects as well as provide a pool of experts for anyone building tools and systems with Mestastic Solutions to ensure long-term health and success of the Mestastic team ecosystem, as well as spur development of Mestastic firmware, clients, libraries, and utilities. Really what we're they're looking at here is creating this whole kind of partnership with the hardware vendors, you know, people like Rack and Lily Go and Helltech to help them develop basically seal approved, sponsored kind of devices 
And we've already seen a little bit of that. So that those devices, a lot of them, if you're not aware, a lot of them were made uh, not initially, the yes, they're lower radios, but they weren't designed specifically for Mestastic firmware and to do what people are doing with Mestastic today. So this venture will help make it to where when you get these radios, they're probably more reliable and better. There's a key thing here I want to note on. This is the biggest thing that excites me because I think this is a big goal of their project or this new venture is this support from the backers and partners will, will fuel some long awaited milestones, including well-tested stable firmware release. And that's what we want. That's what we need, or at least that's what I want. I'm sure there's more people out there that want the same, but this will give us potentially a, a radio that's off the shelf, you know, ready to go. That is not something that requires constant firmware updates and constant tinkering and messing with. It'll be something that's more, you know, finished product that is ready to go. This is really going to help grow the hobby. It's really going to help the whole Mistastic ecosystem to where people can just buy a radio and use it and then maybe put it away as we talked about earlier and then pull it out and be able to, you know, turn it on and go off and start communicating. So I'm really hoping that this, this is a positive change. I think it will be a positive change. I'm looking forward to seeing some updates from this. I'm sure you guys are too. I hope if you've watched this long, you subscribe to the channel, you like the video, you check out our social media links, our websites, all the wonderful links I have down below. If you really want to support us, you can buy me a coffee. The link's here in the video. And I have a video here about planning. I have quite a few videos about planning. If you're interested in checking that out, there'll be a link for that video there. Mad Gear Company creates a great contingency planner. You should check that video out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.